Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how you can make such brick looking uh, seamless texture in Photoshop, completely in Photoshop. So here we have a uh, red, reddish uh, brick look and here we have some kind of uh, tile, ceramic tile looking uh, texture that can be applied on columns uh, or pillars um, in the subway scene and this can be used for I don't know some other architectural design so let's get started in Photoshop uh, create a new file uh, make it 50 by 50 in size and then just create uh, a new layer uh, Control A on the keyboard to select everything and go to edit, stroke, select a black color, two pixels width and inside. Then deselect Control D and create a new layer and then if you don't have rulers uh, viewed you can uh, make them uh, appear pressing Control R on the keyboard or going to view and clicking on rulers and then just click and drag until it snaps to the center of uh, the canvas and then go down here to rectangular tool is uh, set uh, in default and just select line tool then for uh, just type in 4 pixels for width and just uh, click and hold shift and drag down and do the same for horizontal line then just hide the guides and then just select with marquee tool rectangular marquee tool this and this and this you can uh, hold uh, space on the keyboard to move the selection and then just press delete on the keyboard and again selecting the appropriate layer so here we go we have the uh, a basic uh, basic shape for a brick uh, that is going to be tileable seamlessly so just go here to edit and define pattern and just name your pattern like brick or something and press OK. Then we create a new uh, a new document and because here we uh, used 50 by 50 to create this pattern we should always make sure when we are creating uh, a canvas for seamless uh, brick texture we should uh, create it in a scale that is evenly divided by these numbers so 50 by 50 so I'm going to be using 1000 by 1000 and just uh, go to channels click, click on new uh, so the new uh, alpha channel is selected and created and then just go to edit fill select pattern and select the pattern that you just created it should be here in this selection view and just press ok then control click on the picture here to make it uh, selectable and then just make your selection so the RGB and everything except the alpha is selected go back to layers create a new layer and then just by selecting uh, white color and pressing G on the keyboard to select uh, paint bucket tool just click in the canvas then go back down to uh, the basic uh, layer press Control D to deselect everything double click if the layer is uh, locked and then just maybe Rename it and select a uh, black color and paint it with the black color. So here we have a sharp edged uh, brick looking uh, texture.
this this kind of texture I used for for uh, tiles, ceramic tiles that, that we see on the pillars of the subway stations and similar. And so we're going to name it tile and hide it for a minute. Then we are going to go back to channels again. Control click on the alpha channel, alpha layer, and then just go here to select, modify, smooth, and select something like two pixels. Press OK, and you can see the edges are being curved. And then go back to layers, create a new layer and using white color again G on the keyboard to select paint bucket tool and click on the canvas. Now we have this kind of uh, more brick looking style of texture. So this is in 442 uh, percent view so if we go to 100 percent we don't see this uh, those edged uh, those allied uh, edged edges. So I'm going to name it this bricks and create it uh, create a new map and just name it because we're going to be creating some additional uh, layers and I don't want to get uh, confused which is which. So we're going to be creating uh, some additional uh, effects for this tile. Uh, version of texture. So we just create a new layer, fill it with any color we want, and then just select something like not completely white for foreground and something not completely back black for background, and just go to filter, render, clouds. This way we are, we created some kind of uh, dirt looking uh, texture that is not seamless at the moment we can check this by going to filter other and offset it and we all, all always offset it by the half of the width and the height of the our canvas so in our case we are going to move this canvas uh, this image this layer sorry uh, 500 pixels down and 500 pixels to the left so we can see now we have these edge edges that appear if the layer is not seamlessly uh, tileable, so we just select the layer and go here to healing brush tool, press uh, selecting some kind of uh, soft edged uh, uh, soft edged uh, brush, and then just clicking, pressing Alt on the keyboard and clicking on the canvas. And uh, just uh, clicking on the canvas, uh, letting go out, and again click on the canvas, and then just hold shift and drag down. Then wait a minute, and then just do the same for horizontal line. And if you feel like you need to make some additional changes to make it a little bit more seamless, just press a bunch of times in the canvas. So we got rid of our uh, edges. So we can offset it again to the original state. So this you should always do when creating such uh, renders like filter render and clouds or something similar. Always check if the if the new newly created layer is stylable by going to filter other offset and offset it by half of the size of the canvas. So when we have this created now we just set it to multiply and we can see our texture beneath of the tiles and we can just decrease the opacity of this layer and we get this nice looking uh, dirty, dirty look for our tiles. Uh, what we can do here uh, is we can add another adjustment layer by selecting the layer with the dirt. Just click on adjustment layers and holding Alt on the keyboard, pressing on Hue and Saturation, it pops up a new layer window. And click here, use previous layer to create clipping mask. 
Uh, this means that new adjustment layer is going to be affecting only the layer that is uh, beneath it. And we're going to use colorize and uh, set something bluish and decrease the situation. And here we have a nicely looking effect of this texture. So, um, what can we do next? We should try to create some some noise in this uh, texture so we create a new layer and we're going to use just simple noise and add noise uh, we have to first fill it with any color we want and then just noise add noise and you just use Gaussian, Gaussian and monochromatic and some value that you like uh, and then just go to multiply and maybe decrease and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and maybe just a little bit so it's not that sharp and we can decrease some more if we like and you can also try some different uh, effects here. The color burn is looking a little bit different, then we get more color variation uh, when using color burn. So we're going to use this. So it's still a little bit sharp, so you can go again back to filter and Gaussian blur and till you have something you like. So here we also created some kind of uh, new color for the top. I just used a new layer, the marquee tool, and selected some parts. And then holding Alt on the keyboard, I deselected some and then just paint it with a bluish color. Control D to deselect everything and then just set it to soft light. Then I used some brushes to uh, make it disappear in places. This way we just create uh, a mask and select a brush that is some kind of uh, something like this. Uh, you should have your uh, brush presets created or searched on the web and it really helps uh, speeding up your work so we hide some uh, some of this layer and we're going to go to effects and select outer glow and select our dark color and select normal and we're going to click OK now the problem here is we have this uh, outer glow also on the on the side that we don't really see but uh, we don't want that because uh, we are going to use this uh, as a seamless seamless uh, texture so we just create another layer and select both layers and holding control e pressing control e on the keyboard just merge them together then you ha you should always select it uh, back to soft light and if you want to check again it didn't do what I wanted so I'm going to do it again outer glow normal blackish and we're going to create again this time I'm going to pull this out maybe this was the problem yeah so I just want to to keep uh, the edges, but obviously we are going to have to use some different to keep to keep the blackish color and still make the noise and the tiles visible. So I used linear burn this time. So anyway, uh, if we uh, if we press Control T on the keyboard, we can see it uh, 
the, this layer is larger than the canvas. This is because, as I pointed out before, we have this uh, outer glow also on the edges that are not seen in the canvas. We can get rid of this by selecting uh, Crop Tool and just pressing Outside on the canvas and click and drag and it will automatically snap to the to the size of the canvas and when we select everything just press enter this way we got rid of uh, additional lines that are not wanted in this uh, seamless looking texture so this is pretty much it when creating tile looking texture and we're going to get to create something with this brick look looking texture so this is going to be our next tutorial. So till next time.